Thanks for joining us at 6 on this Friday. I'm John Stofflet. First tonight, two men who pleaded guilty for their involvement in shooting and killing a man as he was leaving the Dane County Jail last year were sentenced to life in prison. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly joins us from where that shooting took place over a year ago. And Cameron, the family of Dwayne Collins Jr. says they feel betrayed by Amon Galtney. In court today, Amon Gottley was known to have known the family for years. He knew Dwayne Collins Jr. from the age of five. He was practically family and he hired Cummings to come and kill Collins Jr. right where I'm standing here in broad daylight. Let God help you. Let God change. Let God do things different in your life. Damone Cummings and Amon Galtney were each sentenced to life in prison for first degree homicide for the killing of 32 year old Dwayne Collins Jr. in 2022. Prosecutors reveal Cummings is from Chicago and was hired as a hitman. I don't understand why my child my heart does go out to you because you're so young. And you shouldn't have been in Madison. The judge says Gottley and Cummings admit their actions were a part of revenge. I'm still not clear about the motive here. Um, I, it seems like it's gang related. Prosecutor William Brown alleges this shooting was gang related. There have been probably between eight to ten homicides between Madison and Chicago where people have been shot, a uh, lot of people injured, um, a lot of people dead. He says these shootings started back in 2016 at Old Grady Pub. I think the vast majority of people who live in Madison do not operate with the understanding that there are somewhat lethal street gangs operating amongst us. One family member of the victim says Gauntley ruined a lifelong relationship. I'm more upset and I feel more betrayed by Gantley. We knew you. You were like family. You've been to our home. You've eaten at our table. You slept at our house, been to family functions. Madison Police Department did send us a statement here today saying that this shooting changed the everything from that day moving forward. But there are still some answers that we need from the Madison Police Department and District Attorney's Office on whether this case is closed or if it's still open. They did mention today in court that there were suspects in surrounding cars at the time of the shooting. Live in Madison, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15 News.